Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have some breaking crypto news as it relates to the Fed. What's happening with inflation? What's happening with Bitcoin? Let's get into these reactions. I'm gonna share with you guys here in this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Like I said, let me know where you think Bitcoin's headed uh, and let's get down into the numbers, okay? Uh, before we do so, I wanna share with you guys kind of what's happening in the market um, as we look into kind of the overall green day that we're having. Uh, all coins are up almost 10%, if not more. Uh, Bitcoin is pumping as well as we look in Bitcoin up 2.2% on the day getting up to 95.8 currently on the charts. Uh, let's kind of talk about this reaction within the Fed's PCE data, uh, measuring inflation and what has been announced and how did Bitcoin respond, uh, up 2.2%. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, I want to talk about that a little bit deeper. But before we do, I want to talk about today's channel sponsor. This is BidFi, right? Uh, one of the exchanges I'm sure you guys have heard. Uh, links down below if you want to get signed up with them. I do have probably the hottest promotion going in crypto. 10% cash back. So if you want to sign up, trade futures, spot exchange, all that is offered by BidFi. A great interface app and platform uh, that I use uh, to trade crypto. Uh, if you want to get started, uh, understand their KYC policy as well as their terms and conditions and get started trading today with BidFi. All right. Uh, but as we get into this, uh, this is the first reaction, okay? Uh, struggling with corrections for Bitcoin, right? We are running a little bit hot. And after the minutes of the FOMC meeting were announced, uh, this is where the Fed will act a little bit more cautiously in reducing the interest rates if we have the downward trend of inflation kind of subseding. Now, uh, we did have a 25 basis point cut in November. Uh, there is another 25 basis point cut expected in December. Uh, that's based off the data from the personal consumption expenditures, uh, which the Fed closely follows to make interest rate decisions. According to this data in October, um, as we look into it, uh, we had uh, announced 2.8%, expected 2.8%, um, and that's kind of where you look into this in terms of the core PCE index um, in the personal core, uh, EP, <clears throat> the core, um, the personal consumption uh, expenditure uh, price index, the core, the personal CPE. Uh, we did hit those numbers as well, 2.3 uh, versus the 2.3 annual uh, versus the 0 0.2, 0.2 monthly, okay? So how did Bitcoin react, okay? Uh, we went up and this is back when this publication was at 94.78. Uh, as we currently look at Bitcoin right now trading, uh, we are at 95.9. So uh, Bitcoin is pumping a little bit more so than uh, initially expected. Will the interest rate cuts continue? Well, that's kind of the bigger question we have at bay. Uh, and I wanted to make this quick video to talk to you guys about this because it is relevant to your crypto trading, uh, kind of having a tipping of the scale in, in the hand of where crypto is headed. Um, I don't have that crystal ball, but we do follow the numbers and that's kind of where you can allow yourself to make the best decisions within your crypto trading. So uh, following that, uh, that's kind of where we expect that based on another 25 BPS uh, within December. Um, that's where we have a 66.3% according to the CME FedWatch uh, on December 18th. And there is a 33.7% chance of keeping the interest rates steady. Okay. Um, bullish, bullish headlines, right? Not just the interest rates going down. Uh, it's kind of hilarious if you kind of put it in all perspective, right? Um, you know, crypto is supposed to be the ultimate hedge against inflation, uh, but we kind of look at the interest rates and how inflation has been working. When inflation was high, crypto was not. And it's, it's something where it's conversely um, kind of trading, uh, I guess you would weigh, uh, say inversely uh, to those numbers. So uh, it's going to be something that we're going to track and monitor. Um, some of the bullish headlines too in crypto uh, with President Trump taking office once again. Uh, there's crazy talks going out there. No capital gains tax for crypto. Uh, we have the fact that they're even looking to abolishing the IRS. I even read a rumor about a little bit earlier. So um, it's kind of a crazy time to be alive in the markets. Um, all things are bullish. Uh, we've looked into a lot of cryptos. The markets continue to surge. Um, and right now it's a great time to be alive in trading crypto in this market. All right. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, just a quick update with that CME data. Uh, my personal reaction, uh, 25 basis points. It's not going to be the end all be all. Um, it's going to help some people out there that are looking to take out interest um, loans and so on and so forth, mortgages, all that good stuff. Um, but we'll see how that all reacts and how that all takes shape. Uh, but the interest rates, like I said, 66.3% chance of another 25 BPS cut in December. All right. Thank you all for watching. I uh, appreciate you all. And remember to subscribe on your way out, like this video and follow me on X. The handle is in the bottom left. 
Also, um, if you do want to check out the channel sponsors, uh, there are links down below for BidFi and Margex. If you're looking for exchanges to trade futures on, those are great options uh, that I do offer to you guys within those promotions. All right, I'll leave you with that. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.